Hey, welcome back to DXB Today, where we are focusing on not one, not two, but several uh, areas, if you like. Why? There's just so much going on in this city. So mark your card, as it were, for a few things to do. We've just given you some ideas of where to dine. Next up, um, well, we're turning attention to entertainment. We've just been talking about sort of unique dining experiences. There are no shortage of unique entertainment experiences. The problem is, as you well know, guys, I don't go out. So, um, <laughs> Ahmed, over to you. There is uh, a lot of unique experiences, like, uh, sorry, uh, concerts, for example, happening, like the Candlelight concert that I've been to recently. It was, you went to that? I did. Um, it was really nice, actually. It looks like, because I always see it on Instagram, and it looks breathtaking with all the candles around the instruments. You have everyone, like, playing the violin. There's I've the piano. I've got to say, I have and, really uh, been looking at that. <laughs> yes, and we've been there as part of the show, so let's check it out. Hey everybody, I'm here at Zabia Theatre where I'm going to embark on a multi-sensory experience with the Candlelight Concert and we get to talk to the people who created this magical experience. I'm here with Mariam, the project manager of Candlelight Concert. Well, it's a pleasure having you with us. Tell us everything that we need to know about the Candlelight Concert. Thank you for having me here today. Candlelight is actually a series of classical music concerts. We are actually present in more than 200 cities around the world. And we have piano performances, string quartet performances, we have local performances. So we have a lot of different options available. And what makes Candlelight really unique is first the ambiance that is created by the flickering glow of the candles. It really creates an intimate, cozy atmosphere. And we have um, these anecdotes that the performers share with the audience about the composers, about the music itself, and that really allows the musicians to connect with the audience. So what unique thing can we expect from tonight's concert? So tonight we can expect some really colorful performances from our dancers, Sarah Pinto, and also a great music performance from Nadiel Khan and his musicians. Well, it sounds very exciting and I cannot wait to see the concert myself tonight. I'm here with Nabil Khan, who is head of the Bollywood Ensemble. It's a pleasure having you with us. Now, a lot of people maybe have not experienced Bollywood music before. Is there anything that uh, they should expect or they should know before they come? Uh, I think they should know about uh, Shah Rukh Khan, okay. uh, who is a star and who is the legendary actor of Indian cinema and in, in the cinema. It is exactly the mixture of the fusion and the Indian classical music. Well, it sounds fabulous and I can't wait to see you perform tonight. Thank you. I'm here with Sarah, who's a choreographer for tonight. Well, Sarah, it's a pleasure having you with us. What can we expect? So presenting Bollywood, India, India is vast. You have so much of culture, diversity, and you know, so much of different dance styles, music all coming together. That's the experience you're gonna watch. It's gonna be thrill, it's gonna be romantic, it's gonna be um, experience which uh, no one has witnessed. It sounds very exciting, and I would love to see more of what's going to happen tonight, especially when I'm going to experience it, especially you're going to be live on stage. But is there something unique that we might not see or what you might want to show us? Uh, the concept itself is unique, you know. I've done, I've been in Dubai and performing myself for 15 years. I've never done something like this. This is definitely a unique, unique concept. And I'm looking more to this. The audience need to witness this. The audience, need, it's going to be a magical experience with candlelights, music, dance, Bollywood, India. That's it. It's love. It's love. That's it. Great. I can't wait to see it myself tonight. As you saw, it was breathtaking having all the candles everywhere and it's just so entertaining having been to that concert. What happens if a candle goes out? Uh, their battery, like, I don't know, it's just some parts, I guess, are not going to be oh, lit. So it's not everyone, like, they're not being <laughs> No, lit. they're not being lit. I would say that would be a very hot concert to it go to in Dubai, you wouldn't said it? It's breathtaking, you know. <laughs> so that was easy on that, you know. It has, yeah, also, it has so many, uh, like, a lot of success globally, and they've, got, they've had almost 3 million visitors from 100 uh, cities around the world. Incredible. I've got to say, I have seen the advertising on Instagram, and it looks phenomenal, very beautiful, and uh, I would love to go and see them, definitely. Yeah. It's good though, isn't it? Because it goes back to what we were chatting about a minute ago, about that whole thinking out of the box, you know? Yeah. Again, I think that's one of those ones that, one of the big challenges here um, is catering to A, every wallet, every budget, and yeah. B, every nationality. You yeah. Know? yeah. I mean, uh, and, and that's one of the big challenges for today. I know we've had, uh, Mark Carr from Coca-Cola Arena in yeah. several times, but came in quite recently as well. 
Um, and, and one of the big things they always say about Coco Arena is they have to have a diversity. Why? Because they've got massive Filipino audience that come yeah. for Filipino concerts. Yes. Um, uh, the the, 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 the Asian, the as African well. beasts, yeah. etc. Yeah. And that's, I suppose, something that is, is it unique about this city? I think it definitely is. And I mean, the fact that also they have got the funding to be able to bring in all of these international artists and to be able to cater for everyone across yes. the board. I mean, not every city is so lucky to be able to have that. And I think as well, a lot of the artists want to come here. They want to be present in Dubai. They want to be seen here. So definitely. it gives us, you know, great access to them. It annoys me when, when I hear every now and again, the odd whinge from people out there saying there's not much of a live music scene here. Now, th hopefully for regular viewers of DXB today we've helped dispel that one because yep. we have a live performance every single night, uh, most nights, uh, but uh, and give you a little idea of some of the talent that is out there at the moment. But at the same time, um, as you were saying, because there's such a diversity of gigs and concerts going on from so many artists, Surely that constitutes as live entertainment out and about. Definitely, definitely. And actually talking about live entertainment, yeah. we've got Hans Zimmer coming back to Dubai for another performance at Coca-Cola Arena, which I'm very happy to hear because I missed him the first time round. But last time he was here, our very own Dina managed to go down to Coca-Cola Arena where he was performing last time and got an exclusive interview. So let's check it out. You know when a project is ready, when your score is ready, do you? Oh, that's, do you real, that's simple. The money's run out and the time's <laughs> run out and they take it away from you, you know? But then do you listen back to completed projects sometimes, even now, and just be like, oh, I could have done this or I should have oh, done this? Always, oh, always, always. I mean, the reason I did the last, ver you know, the what they call the live action version of Lion King, which of course is not a live action version at all. It's, you know, more computer graphics than you can think of was because there were a couple of things I wanted to fix from the old one. Lion King changed my life, and I love that story, by the way, with your daughter and how you were inspired to take part in it inspired. so you could take it to the I wasn't premiere. Inspired. I, I, I wanted to show off. <laughs> you know, I'm a dad. I wanted to show off. I wanted to take my little girl. And you, you, you know something which, which I, think, I thought was so fabulous? She was totally unimpressed by people like Elton John, etc. <laughs> but Mr. Bean was there, Rowan Atkinson. Oh my goodness. And she thought that was like the coolest. You know, Dad knew Mr. Bean. So that, you know, you know forget about anything else, you know. So, after a hundred, more than 150 films. Apparently. Endless awards we've got. Oscars and Grammys and BAFTA and, and uh, Golden Globe. And do the awards matter? What is it that you know, makes you feel pride in your work? What feels like a real success? Years ago, before, before I even had a career, before, before I was even, you know, when I was begging people for, for, for you know, to, 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 to get a meal, because, you know, when you start off as a, when you start off as a musician, you basically starve, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and I would play all these pubs and clubs, etc., up and down, you know, England, and to, um, in the roughest neighborhoods, etc., and I remember playing this one time, Bradford, and it was just, it was all, every time we went to Bradford, it was raining, every time we went to Bradford, it was miserable, and somewhere along the way, I made up this fictitious figure in my head, she's called Doris, and she's got, she's of indeterminate age, and she's a single mom, she's got two boys, and they're horrible, and she's just, you know, she works really, really hard, you know, to just put food on the table for them. And the weekend comes, and she now has a choice. She can go to the pub, or she can go and see one of my movies. When she goes and sees one of those movies, the quality of the, the, quality of the work that we do better be good enough to honor the work that she does, you know, because this is her hard-earned hard money, and we, be, we better live up to it. You know, so that, that's, so, so I sit there very often, I just go, oh, what would Doris say? Yeah. Who is Doris inspired by? Is that your mother by any no, chance? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's completely fictitious. It's just so, somebody I saw walking along the street and I, and I sort of made up the story in my head, you know. I like it. Now, what's still on your bucket list? Any projects that you have yet to complete you're still really eager to get on? Yeah, I would like to write something that I can actually go, and that's the one, you know. Um, 
That, yeah, that's good enough. So I, I, I would like to do that one. After all, everything you've done, you don't feel like, oh, I've got that perfect, this is, this is my baby? No, none of them are perfect. <laughs> you know? um, In your opinion, but... Yeah. No, 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 no. No, I, I think, no, I think, and, and I think my opinion counts for something in this. I think it can be better, mm. you know, and, and I, I, somebody asked me recently, I mean, I'm 65 years old, and they go, you know, hey, I'm 65 years old, I'm touring, I'm, I'm on stage, I'm doing all sorts of crazy things, and somebody says, when are you going to slow down? And as, as they were saying it, I was, go I was going, what do you mean? I'm just getting going, I'm just getting ideas, I'm just getting excited about things. You know, leave me alone. Let, let me do. Let me let me try these things. You know, I still have, you know, worlds to explore, things to blow up. You know, um, executives and studios to weep quietly as they drive home to their wives. You know, um, I don't know. You know, it's, it's, I, I still have little, small little revolutions to make every day. Okay. Final question. Okay. How would you like to be remembered? I think that's the question everyone asks how do you. I, no, nobody asks me. Well, nobody asks I, how you How would that? I like to be remembered? I'd like to not be remembered because I wouldn't. I don't like to. I, want I don't to live like forever. the dying part, right? Um, I'd like to be remembered as somebody who said yes a lot, loved his life, was loved by uh, a woman that he loves deeply, um, whose children think he's cool and. Um, you know, not too awful and not too embarrassing. And that's about it, you know? That sounds I mean, pretty wonderful. Yeah. It's like, oh, God, you know, I don't want my kids to ever think I'm an embarrassment. <laughs> I don't know if you can avoid that, but yeah. Well, thank you so much, Hans. Thank you. Believe it or not, I've also been to the Hans Zimmer concert yep, and I was it. quite jealous <laughs> of mean, Dina having that exclusive You interview. had them out about town. That's not, like, I've been to Hans Zimmer, I did the candlelight concert, I went to that painting. <laughs> I know, really you've serious. seen it. Like, every single segment, Actually, there's yeah. something that I've done. I'm going to say, you know, boom, show. <laughs> <laughs> but as you know, he's got two nights again yes. this year. So Amy, if you haven't been, you should go again. I was going to say, would you say it's worth it? It is worth it. Were there some incredible pieces yes, that they performed? Yes, yes, for me, it was like interstellar. It was so breathtaking. It was beautiful. Sitting over there, seeing him in action with the whole orchestra. Orchestra, yeah. Wow. It was, it was really nice. It was worth it just sitting over there for the whole time. Even my friends took a video of me. And there's yeah. a GIF on WhatsApp that they yeah. use every single time we talk about a concert. Oh, really? Um, but honestly, worth, worth it. It was worth it. Okay. I'll go again. I'm going to say for sure I definitely can't miss out because I had major FOMO last time when he was here and everybody in Dubai seemed to be there except yes. for me. So I'm not going to let that happen this time. There's a, there's a, couple, there's a couple. I know mean, we focus a lot on Coca-Cola Arena, but um, the Dubai Opera are hosting a couple of similar events again, as well. They're bringing yeah. philharmonic orchestras who are doing yes. film scores amongst others. And I suppose that's the other thing that we haven't mentioned, which is there are so many venues around town now that you yeah. can visit, be it the smaller clubs and smaller venues to yeah. some of the uh, the dining venues with their own shows, etc., and of course the big arenas as well. So, uh, um, oh, Mr. Sheeran was in town as well. He played yes. an yes. even bigger arena, didn't he? Yeah, yes. that was <laughs> another good one. Right, we've um, we've stuffed ourselves. Uh, we've fed ourselves. Sorry, sorry. Uh, we've been out and about, hit the tiles. We're obviously going to wake up the next day and think, well, we need to focus on ourselves. So stay tuned because coming up next, a few suggestions on ways to stay fit in Dubai.